Hey everybody, what's up? Just wanted to do another uh, quick video here. I got my uh, rear vent hill brake line with the uh, titanium dry quick disconnect installed tonight. Um, I had to reorder a bunch of stuff from the company because, of course, stuff didn't line up or work right with uh, what I had. Um, I kind of measured the uh, brake line length off the uh, Spiegler one I had for it. Um, but unfortunately, it was a little bit too short for how I wanted to do the routing on it. So I think I ended up going with a 725 millimeter length uh, rear line for it. And before I had it running on the outside of the, uh, the swing arm cover. So I wanted to clean it up a little bit better and uh, ran it on the inside of the uh, swing arm and then down there so it, it works a lot better that way. Um, and then I used all the stock uh, mounts for it to run it through. And then I took off the uh, 90 degree adapter that was originally on here this looks a lot cleaner and better this way hooked up directly to the uh, gale, spree, gale speed master um, so I went with the uh, stainless banjos on this um, so basically you can get whatever banjo you want and then the end of the brake line this nut threads on to the end of it and for this banjo I think I did a 20 degree bend with a, another 20 degree bend to the left and the angle on that ended up working out really good with where it hooks up to the brake line and pretty much ran it down and this is where it got a little bit tricky was trying to get this uh, the quick disconnect and everything to work out correctly so for the banjo on this I used a 20 degree side bend banjo stainless so that of course threads into the end of the quick disconnect and then obviously the angle when I originally tried installing this to screw this on and that was running it on the outside of the swing arm it just wasn't lining up right I couldn't get it to work right so the nice thing is uh, sorry the lighting is not the greatest um, they have these uh, swivel adapters. So I got a 45 degree swivel adapter, which threads onto the end of the quick disconnect. And then the brake line goes onto that and that angle right there for it to come behind the swing arm ended up fitting perfect on it. So um, basically what I did on the back, might be kind of hard to see it, but I bought these uh, little plastic uh, bracket things. I don't know what you call them, but they have 3M tape on the back side of them. And then there's little holes where you can run zip ties through them. So I basically stuck that on the back of the swing arm, ran the uh, zip tie through it to hold the uh, brake line in place, but there's not gonna be any issues. I got plenty of clearance anyway, if I wouldn't have used it. So I think it looks a lot better that way. Um, so the biggest uh, pain in the ass on this thing was to try and get it bled out i mean there was so much air in it for some reason um use the pneumatic bleeder on it and there was this tons of air bubbles coming up through the uh tygon hose and um i pretty much put a zip tie around the brake lever and held it down overnight and came back out today and it was a lot firmer so i think a lot of that air kind of bled up through here um, and you got to remember with these um, underslung calipers, you cannot bleed them the way it is like that. You have to remove the caliper and flip it the right side up. Otherwise, if you try and bleed it like that, you'll get fluid coming through it, but there's going to be a ton of air built up in it. You're not going to get a lever at all. So you have to pretty much take that off, flip it right side up, and bleed it. I bet it took me, it seemed like it almost like two hours to try and get it because um, I was watching the pistons on it and the one side of the piston was moving all the way out where the other side was barely moving at all. So I had to keep pushing the piston back in and then just keep playing with it and bleeding it out. And it, it was quite a process to uh, get all the air out. And then you have to make sure all the, uh, the fittings and everything are torqued up correctly. So those are all good. All the banjos are good. It was this, this, the caliper with the underslung is a really pain in the ass 
to uh, get it bled out. So if any of you guys want to do this, just remember, flip it right side up to bleed it. Otherwise, you're going to have a hell of a time getting any uh, pressure on it. So this is all done. Um, I'm still waiting on the calipers for the front. I had to reorder the front brake lines because, of course, the Spiegler, the Rensport ones, I measured off of those and they were way too long. And you have to remember with it being up on the stand right now, the forks are all the way extended out with it sitting up like this. So basically, if you want to do this with custom lines, you want to put the front end up on a stand and have the forks fully extended. So that way you make sure you have the correct length. So I'm trying to get right on the money the correct length on these with the forks fully extended on the stand so I don't have any really extra slack because then once you take it off the stand and then you got to figure the sag with your rider weight and riding it and pulling the front brake you're gonna you know have a lot more slack in the brake line so I'm trying to get it as close as I can to being almost tight with the forks uh, fully extended on the stand so I think I'm gonna be pretty close with the right side uh, once I put the figure out which banjo fitting I want to use on it, it's going to come pretty close. And uh, basically, how I have it routed, I bought this uh, three way T fitting or whatever you want to call it. So I have the hose from the master coming down, and then connect to the top, and then I have, of course, left and right for the calipers, the lines running off of that. So here's the uh, other side. And of course, like I said, I'm just waiting on the calipers so I can get those installed to see how everything's going to line up and what banjos I want to use. Um, so I still don't know when the calipers are going to show up. The shop seems like they keep giving me a run around, so I might just end up going with some uh, Brembo GP4 RX, which is a step up from the previous Brembos I had. They have 32 millimeter pistons and nickel plated, all CNC machine, real nice, but. Um, I'll try and find out next week and see if they're going to show up anytime soon. So, um, basically, if you can see up there, well, it's hard to see, but so for the uh, banjo from the master cylinder, which it comes off the bottom of it on the gale speed, I used the 75 degree stainless. And then ran the uh, brake line down to where it went to the, the T-fitting right there. And then secured it with the zip tie up in that bracket. So hopefully soon I should have these calipers and get this damn thing finished. If you guys have any questions, let me know.